guys. This is the box. So this is what, what came to in the mail to me. Um, yeah, this is right side up. How about Funem? Here we go. Let me just say, they've got some amazing fibers. Um, they sent me a, a sample of some. This is a kit that I got from them, and it came with these fibers. Now, there's a bunch of different kits you can get with different fibers, and you can order the fibers individually. But let me just say, it, it, was, it would have been hard to choose because every single bit of their fibers are just amazing. So this kit comes with these fibers. This is a... This is like a really, like almost a felted, it's really hard, like a big dread <laughs> this is what it's like. That's really cool. It has some of this roving, um, which is also nice. They, they do some felting kits, and I feel like the roving, and they have some other things. I'm, I would love to play with that as far as some spinning goes. This I'm super excited about. This is some velvet ribbon. Look at this, y'all. This is so, so freaking beautiful. Let's see if I can unwrap this. This is just amazing. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful velvet ribbon. So excited about that. They also do like some sari ribbon, um, some cotton, like gauzy looking stuff. Uh, they, they just have some really beautiful fibers. All right, here's a cotton, this multiply cotton that's really really interesting as well um and then this oh my god i love this this is like a bigger version of this and it's just oh my god i i i'm really excited to play with that and then some wonderful just single ply wool yarn so yeah there's a lot to play with here and these colors are really cool as well they have some really really great hip colors but here's what I want to do before I dive into weaving with this stuff is I really would like to spin up an art yarn that kind of goes with all of this. I want the art yarn to be a hero, the hero in this, the piece that I weave with this stuff as I'm playing with. Yeah, today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of my regular stuff and just to get to know the loom with the warp that is already on here. It came pre, oh, here's some more warp yarn. It came pre-warped with with this kind of, you know, good, strong cotton yarn. Um, so I'm gonna play with that a bit, but let me take this out. See, what they have also in here, I'll take the loom out itself, because this kit also comes with some tools, which that's what I loved about this kit, is it came with some awesome tools. So I am unboxing these right now. So some of the tools it came with, it came with this wonderful, oh wow, this is nice. The tip is kind of flat on one end and it's perfect for weaving. This, and it's heavy. It's like heavy for a needle. So that, that's all, I mean, this thing is not, oh, it bend a little bit, but this thing is nice and sturdy. And then it came with this weaving comb and then these, oh, I love these type of scissors. It also comes with these cute, 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 cute snips. The thing I wish it had is a stand, and it doesn't. I do believe they do, they make some stands. It's just not this one. So, all right. So the thing that's also interesting about this is it's got this bar, and not not all tapestry looms come with this. I mean, this is something that's pretty awesome. Let me take these out. These are my shuttle sticks. And it's already pre-wound. It's got this thing, these ends here, that tension. Oh, Jerry's going to be barking about something. See, now that's interesting. So this tensions it here, these bars. So once you wind it up, then you're just twisting that to get some tension. I would like that a lot. That's awesome. So can you see that the slits here, let's see if I can put it on its side. So you can see that when I turn it one way, it opens, it opens that shed. Can you see? Wait, let's 
let's see. You see how it opens, opens it just enough to where you can get, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be sending anything like this through it for sure, but it's just enough to get like your, your little stick with some yarn in there. Definitely, you know, your needle has these little flat areas here. You see, so I can roll it to this side and you can see where it's opening up the shed here. Or I can roll it to this side and it's opening up the different shed. So it's raising and lowering different parts of that. Alright, that's it. Alright, so I am going to switch the camera so you can see my weaving. Again, I've been working on this... Let me remember how to switch my camera. Hold on. Table talk. There it is! Yay! Alright, so this is the weaving that I started a while back. Actually on here, I think I... Did I warp them in here? Maybe not. Okay, so this... This is the piece. Um, I'm on the fence about it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I started this shape and I didn't want it to look like an eye, but now it looks like, I don't know, a fuzzy fish? I don't even know what it is. But this was me playing with a bunch of different techniques. And, um, and, and there's a lot of things that I learned about this loom. Um, first thing is this loom, um, it's, it, it's surprisingly different than working on a rigid huddle and because I am faced with my complete amount of work right right here where on a rigid huddle loom you know you're you're weaving as you go so you know I, it, it's more like a train of thought whereas this is more concise um, from a weaving standard uh, standpoint that might not make a hill of beans a difference but from an artist standpoint it kind of does because composition becomes more important. And I don't know that I nailed composition on this one, but I had fun playing. Um, so another thing that I learned is I have been weaving, I've been spinning, and let me show you. This is, this is my, uh, this is a bunch of the yarn that I have set aside to play with on this loom. And I'm gonna share with you some of these yarns here, which this is primarily hand spun, and this this whole project actually let me move this out of the way. This whole project is primarily hand spun or hand dyed. Um, this is hand spun from Deborah Lambert, and then this is a felted dread. And I'm trying to see what else. Oh, this is this is uh this is some yarn that came with the kit. These this pink here and this pink here and this is a felted dread uh, but the rest of this is either hand spun or hand dyed actually that's all hand spun all the the rest of the stuff is hand spun except for this sari ribbon um and it was fun but let me tell you i've been i've been spinning a ton of these singles here and i'm going to refresh to see if there's any questions um, I've been spinning a ton of these singles here and I've been doing them kind of thin and I've been doing this for a while 
Um, and a lot of it was, I started to do singles to use up some of these remnant uh, rovings that I had, or it might have been little pieces. Now the white ones, I have a ton of this natural color uh, yarn, and this is actually when I would get a new fleece, I would wash up just a little bit and um, and test spin to see how the, the fiber would do. And it, I would come out with these interesting uh, white singles, off-white singles, and I have loved incorporating these into the weaving um, because this is really, really so cool. Um, but this, and I've used this, I cut little pieces and I use some here and I use some here. And I'm still playing with how I want to use this. I mean, this is like such a bold texture. Um, and I love it, but I'm still playing with how to use that. I love that color. This also came with it. Um, and this is some kind of, I believe it's a wool roving. It doesn't tell me what kind of wool. It feels like it might just be a domestic wool. Um, and this is really fun. I haven't used this yet because I kind of am toying with spinning some of this up. Um, but I think I want to use and some of this in the next um, the next weaving I do. And I think it, it goes kind of well with this as well as it picks up some of this dyed lock that I have in, in this, this yarn here. I spun this yarn on one of my videos and I will link which video that was All right so yeah so that's and I really like that now look at how that blue pops against that gold color that I love I love that so I definitely want to to play with that a little more so I so here's the thing I want to incorporate hand spun with, with some of their fibers. I've, I've been getting to know this loom, and so the next piece, I definitely want to use all the fibers that they sent along with some of my hand spun. Um, not sure if that one will make the cut. Definitely some of this off-white will. Definitely this and this will. Now what I was saying is these, the singles that I've spun I've been spinning these small singles with weaving in mind, but I think I've been spinning the small singles with floor loom weaving in mind because that fabric tends to be a little finer and I feel like um, it's not necessarily the best weight for this kind of loom. Even though I love how it came out here and I love how it came out here, it just took a really long time to, to weave these little squares Although they're kind of worth it. I like I like that little patchwork feel that I'm getting there. All right, so let me tell you some more about these other fibers. This I love. Um, how awesome awesome is this? This is absolutely beautiful. So I've got like this white sari silk, this off white sari silk that's like remnants of not quite white saris, and I love this. And I think this will go well. It it marries. It matches well with. This yarn, oh, you can't see because my, my keeps in the way. This yarn, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I think that all looks great together. They also have this wonderful, so mushy, mushy, soft wool single that I love. Now, this is more of like the single weight that I should be working with on this loom and maybe I'll go back and spin some some stuff that's a little thicker than this although I like these two different weights together as well so that's pretty cool they also have these string yarns let me move this stuff out of the way these string yarns are the bomb um, I, I promise I'm gonna have to get more of this look at this stuff this stuff is nice and thick it's rope, it's got tons of, of plies in there. It's beautiful. I actually used it on this piece, which I did. It, this was the warp that, that was on the loom already. And I wove this piece and used a bunch of it for here. Now I think I'm gonna brush this out and make it uh, 
uh, make it more just like the string stuff, but I'm, I'm still playing with that a little bit. Anyway, so this, this string, and then they have a smaller version, and this is in that pink. And they have a bunch of different colors, but this is the colorways that they sent me, and I really think that this this is going to be the next the next weaving yeah. these colors primarily and then I'll probably I probably won't pick up the blues because I want the blue in this yarn to pop and I want I like that the golds are, are here the pink I probably will add more more whites and let the white and pink and these be the neutral and let the blue pop out of that so so that's what the next one's gonna be but, but there it is all right